What? You're in a relationship with two people? Is that even possible? So, whom do you really love then? Yes, it is possible and valid and it's called polyamory. Join us in this video as we explain polyamory to you and what it means to practice it. Polyamory is made up of two words. Poly that means several and amor that means love. It is the practice of having multiple romantic relationships at the same time with consenting partners. Sounds confusing? Let's take it again. Multiple would be two or more. Romantic relationships, emotional connection, love and affection are the driving forces here. At the same time with consenting partners and consent that's informed, enthusiastic and mutual. The nature of polyamorous relationships also differs. For some, it could involve being in a relationship with multiple people but having one primary partner. For others, it could be two completely separate relationships. Bottom line is consent. And because of society's strict notions around love, relationships and eventually marriage, the concept of polyamory is largely misunderstood. There are some very common myths. Let's dive into them. Number one, it's all about sex. Now, the basis of polyamory is love and related emotions. Whether it's sexual or not depends on the people that are involved. And many people have aromantic, non-sexual and platonic partnerships as well. Number 2. It's the same as polygamy. That is not true. Polygamy refers to having multiple married partners and it has foundations in religion and the laws that we live in. Polyamory is different. It is when consenting partners are emotionally and philosophically on board with the concept. And it may or may not always have to intersect with the institution of marriage. Polyamory acknowledges that each relationship could be fulfilling in its own way. It could be by raising a child together, taking up financial responsibilities or building a house. Number 3. Polyamory justifies cheating. No, it does not. Cheating is when someone does something behind the other person's back without their consent. And honestly, it could mean a lot of things in a relationship, but society only talks about the sexual and the romantic form of it. In polyamory, everyone is aware and consenting of the multiple relationships that are occurring. And polyamorous couples stress on the importance of openness, consent and communication. So how does this really work? Like any healthy relationship, a polyamorous partnership is built on consent, respect, trust and enmity. Partners in polyamory define their own boundaries and negotiate the terms of their relationship. And of course, jealousy can manifest. It is a part of human nature, but it can be managed with trust and establishing boundaries. Because polyamory involves being emotionally available to more than one person at a time, communication is key which even many polyamorists could fail at. Polyamory is about the freedom you give to yourself and your loved ones to evolve and build a connection. For anyone who practices polyamory, it is wrong to assume that they are selfish or afraid of commitment. They are actually open to multiple types of emotional experiences because love is abundant. In fact, you can see polyamory as the main character energy where you are the center of your life, surrounded by a network of love, honesty and meaningful relationships. We'll let you think about it. What are the ways you explore love in your life? Tell us in the comments below. 